Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've just unboxed a shiny new Windows 11 PC, first of all, congrats. Whether it's a laptop or a desktop, today I'm walking you through the first things you should do to set it up for speed, security, and productivity. Let's jump right in. First things first, check for Windows updates. Microsoft constantly releases patches and improvements, so you want to make sure your system is up to date. New threats emerge constantly. Even if the PC is new, the pre-installed version of Windows might be weeks or months old. Updates patch critical vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. Microsoft often releases optimizations that improve speed, battery life, and system responsiveness. Hardware compatibility and driver updates can also enhance performance, especially on newer hardware. Next, let's clean up the clutter. Many new PCs come preloaded with unwanted apps, aka bloatware. Open the control panel and go to Remove Programs. Look for applications you will not use on the list and uninstall them from your PC. Also go to Installed Apps and check from there as well. Windows 11 comes with a number of built-in apps, but if you've just set up a new PC, there's a good chance the manufacturer has pre-installed additional software you may not need. It's a good idea to review your installed apps and remove anything you don't use or want. Many of these programs run in the background, slowing down startup times and overall system speed. Removing them can make your PC feel faster and more responsive. Also, background processes and unnecessary apps can drain battery faster on laptops. Getting rid of them helps your battery last longer between charges. You can also utilize sites like Should I Remove It? It is a handy tool that helps you figure out which programs on your PC are safe to uninstall. It scans your system, explains what each app does, and shows community ratings to help you spot bloatware and keep your computer clean and fast. If you want something easy, you can utilize tools like IOBit Uninstaller and just select from a list the apps you want to remove from your system. Next, set up Windows Security. Windows 11 comes with built-in security. Check that virus protection, firewall, and ransomware protection are turned on. You can find it all under the Windows Security section in Settings. If you didn't sign in with a Microsoft account during setup, now's a good time. Using a Microsoft account on Windows 11 unlocks features a local account can't. You get Cloud Sync for settings, OneDrive backup, access to Microsoft Store apps, device tracking, and better integration with services like Outlook and Teams. It also makes signing in across multiple devices seamless. While a local account gives you more privacy, a Microsoft account offers a more connected and convenient experience. For most users, Windows Defender, now called Microsoft Defender Antivirus, is enough as your primary antivirus, especially on Windows 11. For everyday use, browsing, shopping, streaming, working, Windows Defender is solid, reliable, and sufficient. Just pair it with safe browsing habits, and you're well protected. However, if you deal with client data, financial info, or intellectual property, you may want enterprise-grade security. Also, if you often download cracked software, visit sketchy websites, or click on unknown email links, you're at higher risk. Third-party antivirus tools may offer stronger web protection, sandboxing, or file reputation checks. Windows Defender is great for casual or average users. But if you're at higher risk, need more features, or want peace of mind, a premium antivirus may be worth it. Also configure an anti-theft tool like Find My Device. Find My Device helps you locate your lost or stolen PC by tracking its last known location using your Microsoft account. Its key features are tracks location, uses Wi-Fi or GPS if available to pinpoint your PC. Last seen location, 
shows where your device was last connected to the internet. Works online. You can view your device's location remotely at an account.microsoft.com slash devices. Locks your device. You can remotely lock it and display a custom message. You can do all this from your Microsoft account. Also turn on data encryption. Data encryption is one of the most important layers of protection if your PC is lost or stolen. If your PC is stolen, encryption is what keeps your personal files safe from prying eyes, even if someone removes the hard drive and plugs it into another computer. Device encryption, which is basic, automatically enabled on many Windows 11 devices, especially laptops with modern hardware. Uses your Microsoft account to help manage encryption keys, so you need to log in with your Microsoft account. It keeps your files encrypted when the PC is off or locked. There is also BitLocker. It offers more control than basic encryption. Example encrypting specific drives, adding pins or USB keys. It is available only on Pro or higher editions of Windows. BitLocker is ideal for business users or those handling sensitive data. For better performance or longer battery life, tweak your power settings based on how you use your PC. Out of the box, your laptop's power settings might not be optimized for how you use it, so tweaking them can really improve your experience. You can set your laptop to run at full power when charging, great for gaming, video editing, or multitasking. You can also avoid interruptions by setting when your screen turns off or your device goes to sleep, especially useful during presentations or video calls. Adjusting power settings helps you get the most out of your new PC. Longer battery life, smoother performance, and a setup tailored to your needs. Also, setup backups. Setting up backups is one of the most important steps when configuring a new Windows 11 PC, especially if you want to avoid losing important files due to accidents, crashes, or malware. Windows 11 makes it easy to back up your desktop, documents, and pictures folders using OneDrive. This way, your files are automatically saved to the cloud and can be recovered from any device, even if your PC dies. This way, your files are automatically saved to the cloud and can be recovered from any device, even if your PC dies. Using a VPN, Virtual Private Network, is a smart step for privacy and security, especially if you use public Wi-Fi or want to prevent ISPs and websites from tracking you. The easiest way is to download a trusted VPN app like ProtonVPN. These apps let you connect with one click, and some even auto-start with Windows. Avoid free VPNs that don't have a good reputation. They might track your data instead of protecting it. If you're working remotely or accessing sensitive info, using a VPN is a must. And if you're traveling abroad, a VPN can help you access streaming services from home. Bottom line, that if you care about privacy, using a VPN is a great move on any new PC. Now, it's time to install the apps you actually need. Think browsers, media players, your favorite productivity tools, or gaming apps. I recommend using a tool like Ninite.com. It installs multiple apps at once without any junk. Instead of downloading and installing each app manually, like Chrome, Zoom, VLC, or Spotify, Ninite creates a custom installer that installs all your selected apps in one go automatically declines toolbars and junkware skips prompts and installs in the background, and can be reused to update those apps later with one click. Yes, Nanite is widely trusted in the IT world. It's used by professionals, system admins, and tech-savvy users to speed up setups and ensure clean installs. And there you have it. Your Windows 11 PC is now cleaner, 
faster, and safer. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or tips of your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.